Today on Tesla Tips and Trips, we are gonna talk Tesla Tint and everything you need to know to get your ride looking its best. All right, so looking at my receipt here, uh, looks like I tinted my car about two years ago. It was August of 2019. My model is a 2019 SR Plus made in May of that year. I think I bought it in June. Um, maybe I bought it in May. I'll have to look at my door uh, thing there. So uh, we wanna talk about tint. It's one of the most common questions that seems to come up on the Facebook groups. It comes up on our channel. Uh, what tint do you have? What are the percentages? And how well does it work? So we're gonna answer all those questions on today's video, so stick around. I am looking at my receipt from two years ago uh, from my local tint shop. I'm sure prices have changed since then, but it looks like I paid around $750 to have the whole car done, minus the windshield. Um, the kind I used was, at the time, brand new. I'm sure there's probably newer stuff now, better stuff. It's been two years. I'm sure this, uh, this industry changes pretty quickly, but I've got 3M Ceramic IR uh, all the way around the car. And again, at the time, at least the installer told me it was fairly new, a uh, new thing. So, and that includes the roof. So we did uh, the entire car minus the windshield. So that includes all the, the side windows, the roof, the back glass, and I recommend highly that uh, you do the back glass in one sheet. If you have a, a installer telling you, oh, we can't do that, or it's better to do half of it, uh, find another shop, because that's a red flag right there. Now, I do want to clarify, not all states allow tint all over. In fact, the state I live in doesn't allow tint all over. Uh, I'm kind of playing the odds at this point. I haven't been pulled over since the 80s, and I pretty much tint my cars the same way every time I buy a car. Um, so I'm, you know, playing the odds at this point. Uh, that doesn't mean my recommendation means you should go out and do it. And then I get a comment later saying, oh, I got pulled over. Um, yeah, it could happen. I mean, not running a front license plate can also uh, get you pulled over. But uh, sometimes you, you know, do this kind of stuff. It does make the car look cooler, I gotta be honest. And not only makes the car look cooler, it makes the car literally cooler in our case, because these things are like fish bowls. Let's, let's be honest, they are uh, just made of glass <laughs> from, from the door up. So um, I paid about 750, it looks like total. Now I did have a referral, um, so they gave me a discount on that. And I did a Facebook thing with them. So they, uh, they gave me a discount on that as well. So I think roughly you, if without the discounts, it'd be about 750 for the entire car. Now that back glass is the kicker. That is probably the hardest thing for them to do to get back there. And so they charge you for it. I mean, they're professionals. You got to pay for that expertise. That's like that with anything. Um, if you cheap out, you're gonna probably get bubbles down the road or it lifting or, or anything like that. Oh, cracks. Everybody wants to know, oh, you can't tint your glass because it'll crack. And then and then Tesla won't, will void your warranty on the entire car. <sighs> okay, first of all, I've had the car. This is my experience. I can't say for everybody, um, but, but our experience in the Los Angeles area, we've had this tinted this way for two years now. Um, extreme heat. In fact, we had 124 degree day. No, no, there's no cracks. I mean, it just, it, it doesn't happen, at least if it's done properly by a good shop and uh, with good tint. And I haven't experienced that. I'm sure some have. If you have, comment down below. Let's talk. So uh, in our, our situation, the entire car, no cracks whatsoever uh, with this particular tint. Again, 3M Ceramic IR is the kind that we used. And uh, it's been fine. So. We'll talk percentages here in a second. I'm going to jump in the car and show you all all the, lo the look and feel of the car inside and out. Uh, so you get to see exactly what it kind of looks like. Um, what else? It looks great. Cost. Yeah, it, it sucks. It's it's the nature of the beast, though. Uh, we had our Chevrolet Bolt, uh, which is our second car. We had that tinted and it was far less. I think it's the rear glass. It really is. Uh, a tough beast to handle because of the way you have to get uh, back there. They've got the, the headrests in that back seat. They have it's it's not easy. I I can I can relate. I I can see that. So um so there you go. That's our tent situation. Um, we have had no cracks in extreme heat in Los Angeles. Um, again, 
On Facebook, it seems like if you do any little tiny thing to your car, oh, it's gonna void the warranty of the whole, uh, entire car, they think. Th there's uh, literally laws in place to protect us from that. So yes, I guess they could say if the window cracks, they could blame it on tint, but they would have to prove it by saying other cars have also gotten cracks from tint of the exact kind that you have. They, it's on them to prove. Um, so it's, it's, you know, there's laws in place protecting us as consumers. You are allowed to modify your car to a certain extent. Uh, Teslas are a little different. I mean, you're not gonna be putting all kinds of weird stuff on the, the drivetrain and battery and all that stuff. That, that will probably get you in trouble. Uh, but as far as tint, you know, there, there's, there's definitely landmines to be looking out for, both the law and Tesla, uh, and heat and cracks and all that stuff. I'm not saying those things don't exist. Of course they exist. But in our case, we've been good, um, and that's what we've used. Your luck may vary. All right, we're gonna hop inside the car. We're gonna talk about uh, percentage, the roof, uh, how the back glass looks from inside, and uh, much more. So I'm gonna throw it to me over there in the car. So let's talk percentages and how this car looks tinted on the inside. First and foremost, you're gonna notice on the back glass there, because the factory tint um, comes down and has like this gradient slope and then goes into clear. Even though I tinted the entire rear window, not just a portion of it, we did the entire rear window with uh, 5%, you're still gonna see right here, this gradient from the factory from the inside. Now from the outside, it's completely black. It's completely dark, looks limo. You can't see inside. You're not gonna see that at all from the outside. So just so you know what it looks like if you do have that rear glass done, um, some shops are gonna try to talk you into just doing the bottom half because you already have the top half. Don't do that. That's just kind of a hokey way of doing it. Um, you need to do the entire rear glass. If they are balking at that, if they don't wanna do that, um, find another shop because that means they don't know how, it's gonna probably get botched, It's not. you're not gonna like it, it's gonna bubble. Um, admittedly, that is the hardest part of the car to tint. Um, and you can see why, because there's these, these headrests are here, it's a really uh, sharp slope there on that back deck, uh, right about here. It's, it's hard for them to get back there and uh, get it right. And you gotta find a good shop to do it uh, properly. So uh, we did the entire back glass. You will still see the, the gradient from the inside. You will not see it from the outside. Uh, let's take a look at the roof, which is here. Um, we did the entire uh, roof with 50%. And yes, it absolutely helps, but we're still talking about the sun versus glass. And every time I think the sun is gonna win. So. Before we did the top with the uh, ceramic IR, it was crazy, crazy hot to the touch. You couldn't touch it. I mean, it was almost dangerous, especially for kids. Now, yeah, it's, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's still warm and you can still feel heat coming off of it, even with the ceramic tint. So don't think it's a magical thing that's gonna just stop all heat. It's going to help, yes. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect. Now we have, I live in Los Angeles, we've had really hot days. We've had even 124 degree day one time. We were on a, on a road trip on that particular day. And so it saw a lot of sun, um, no cracks, no problems there. So uh, there you go. Let's take a look at the outside the sides. Um, so you could still see outside very easily. This is at 15% on the passenger and driver uh, front windows, 15% on the sides. Let me see if I can take you in the back there. So that back window there, is five percent and you can still see out very well now nobody can see in so it it, it serves two purposes uh, both privacy and a uh, heat reduction now the only thing that we didn't do on this car and i think i'm considering doing it um is the front windshield there is zero uh anything on that front windshield there's no, no protection whatsoever and they do have i know there's laws against it and stuff but they do have clear tint that you can't tell, but still has heat reducing properties, which um, I think I might look into because when you're parked, it's fine. You can put up a sun visor and it, it definitely helps. But when you're driving, that's literally the biggest piece of glass on the car now unprotected in our particular car. So I think I'm gonna consider getting um, 
you know, either a, a really high percentage tint or a, uh, just clear and, and just hope for the best. Hopefully it'll be, you know, kind of like this 50% here. Um, by the way, with the roof, yes, you can still see out even with the factory tint and the 50%. However, I will tell you at night, it's a little harder to see the stars. You will see them depending on where you're driving. Um, but it is a little harder at night to see that. But that's why we went with the 50% and not say a 5% and completely limo this out. I'm sure you can still see out, but it would be um, a little tougher. So there you go, that's our percentages. That's what the gradient looks like. That's what the inside looks like. Um, I think that's it in, in terms of tint. If there's something that I'm missing, feel free to comment below and uh, we'll we'll get you squared away if, if you have any questions regarding our particular setup. Your uh, situation may vary. This has worked for us uh, with the, the 3M IR ceramic. It's been wonderful. No cracks, no problems, no issues, and uh, no bubbles. I mean, it looks like it did the day we got it, two years ago. So, uh, so good stuff. At least that's our recommendation in terms of uh, it working well for us on this particular car. So we truly appreciate you being along for the ride here on Tesla Tips and Trips. If you like uh, what we're doing here, if you like our content, we're uh, doing all kinds of weird different things with, with Tesla stuff. So if you've got an idea you'd like us to run with, by all means, throw it down in the comments and uh, we'll see if we can uh, make that happen. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of doing some summer stuff now and I've, I've got other stuff that I'm waiting for the winter when uh, when things are, you know, different situation. But uh, for right now, uh, we truly appreciate you having, you having you on board here at Tesla Tips and Trips. Don't forget to comment, like, that's also important, and uh, subscribe and bell and all that stuff. It truly means a lot. So uh, we'll see you on the next video here on Tesla Tips and Trips.